I'm Jim Rushton, Director of National Field Service at Nintendo. The purpose for this special video update is to provide you with some very exciting news and information. We will discuss Nintendo's sales performance for 1993. After all, these sales translate into future service opportunities for you. Secondly, our aggressive sales projection for 1994. Third, our first half new product introductions and a special sneak preview at Project Reality, the technologically superior 64-bit entertainment system being developed with our newest partner, Silicon Graphics, for introduction in 1995. This is excellence in the making. And speaking of excellence, our 1994 Servicer Excellence Award program will give Nintendo the ability to recognize over 100 service center locations for outstanding performance. And finally, you'll have a brief opportunity to see the highlights of Nintendo's all-new Service Center Advertising and Promotions campaign for the new year ahead. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. First, I'm pleased to advise you that Nintendo retained the number one position in the video game industry, although 1993 did not exactly meet our expectations. It was definitely an up-and-down year for the total industry and certainly for Nintendo. At one point, we thought total revenues for the entire industry would hit a projected $7 billion. Instead, the industry results were approximately $6.2 billion, with Nintendo's share at $4.3 billion, or 70% market share. Exactly the same mark we hit last year. The industry in total still is huge. It grew by 17% but our performance was still not quite what we had projected. There are several reasons the numbers didn't hold up to meet our expectation. First, neither we nor our rivals sold as many 16-bit hardware systems as we once thought we could. The main problem was the lack of real blockbuster games. Secondly, we saw some unbelievable pricing at retail, some, of course, well below cost, and I'm confident you saw this as well. Consequently, overall retail sales values came in well below our original estimates. And finally, the introduction of free software may have helped sell hardware, but didn't do much for software sales. So how did Nintendo end up at year end? Let's look at unit sales for all three product platforms. First, Super NES hardware with 6.8 million units sold, followed by NES at 1.8 million, and Game Boy with a whopping 5 million units for total hardware sales of 13.6 million and total software sales combined of 73 million units. In summary, Nintendo now holds a 53% market share in the 16-bit category, 80% in handhelds, and nearly 100% of the 8-bit business. Again, this represents a total 70% market share. So what is the 1994 outlook? I'll tell you. First of all, 1994 will continue to be a year dominated by cartridge-based gameplay. In fact, this will be the biggest year in history for cartridge-based game sales. The industry projection is 21 million units of hardware and over 110 million game packs. Let's take a look at the projection by Nintendo Hardware System. The 8-bit market will still deliver half a billion dollars in retail sales on 1.5 million hardware units and 15 million game packs and it can keep right on delivering these numbers just as long as the developers and retailers support it. And believe me, we've got some great support planned for the 8-bit system. Next, the handheld position. Game Boy will keep its overwhelming advantage with forecasts of 4.2 million systems and 25 million game packs, equaling over $950 million in retail sales. That's $950 million in a category worth a total of $1.2 billion. So in essence, Game Boy will again run away with 80% of this market. Then, in the battle for the 16-bit business, we're going to be pushing our team to reach 7 million hardware units, along with its biggest year in history for software, totaling 45 million game packs. Together, that means total hardware and software retail sales of almost $3.5 billion for the Super NES alone. So you add everything up, and here's what you get. In total, we project a total U.S. home video game market of $7.2 billion in the fiscal year ahead of us, an increase of 15% over the total market last year. And of that $7.2 billion, we expect Nintendo once again to be responsible for almost 70% of retail sales. How are we going to accomplish this 70% share? 
strong product promotions. Let's take a look at what's in store for 1994. The 1994 video game season is shaping up as a hotly contested race. And number one ranked Nintendo is turning up the power and getting ready to take on all comers. Team depth has always been one of Nintendo's greatest strengths, and this season the All-Star team is being bolstered by some extraordinary new recruits. In terms of sheer power, versatility, and fan appeal, this is a world-class lineup. With a fan base of over 35 million, NES continues to provide a solid foundation to the team strategy. And the introduction of the NES Basic has brought the thrill of the game to even more players. Leading off for NES is Zoda's Revenge. Veteran players will recognize Mike Jones as he picks up where he left off in Star Tropics. Chasing the villainous Zoda and searching for the seven mystic tetrads, Mike's quest takes him through time to meet Cleopatra, Sherlock Holmes, and our old friend Merlin. Next up for NES is Mega Man 6, a futuristic action game that pits our hero against eight outrageous robots in a decathlon of doom. Faced with an army of metallic mercenaries, Mega Man must fight a ferocious new foe, the mysterious Mr. X. It's a battle of power and agility as Mega Man attempts to deactivate the robots using his entire arsenal of weapons. Game Boy proved to be the MVP of the 93 season. Light, compact, and agile, Game Boy continues to delight fans of all ages. Continuing to lead the way for Game Boy is the versatile Tetris 2. This season playing on both NES and Game Boy platforms. Players who think they're pretty hot because they've mastered the original Tetris are going to love taking on this even more advanced sequel. Tetris 2 appeals to puzzle fans of all ages and the Game Boy version is bound to be especially popular with adults. Following in the tradition of the two most successful Game Boy titles ever, Super Mario Land 1 and 2, comes Super Mario Land 3, Wario Land. This edition may be the hottest seller yet. Wario Land lets players see what it's like being the bad guy for a change. It's Wario's first starring role, and he's feistier than ever. Go, Wario! Sound familiar? Coming to Game Boy this summer, an all-new version of the classic arcade game that started it all, Donkey Kong. If you're familiar with the original, this will be like going home, except that it's even more advanced, more challenging, and more fun. Filling out the Nintendo lineup are the power players, the superstars of 16-bit playing on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Stunt Race FX. Mario Kart demonstrated the huge potential of funny car racing, selling over two million cartridges. Now with all the power of the Super FX chip, Stunt Race FX is revved up and roaring to go. This is no ordinary racing game. Four very unusual vehicles compete in two modes on 20 different tracks. The millions of budding artists who created masterpieces with Mario Paint are going to be tuned up and ready to play when Sound Fantasy hits the shelves. Imagine making a picture to see how it sounds. Imagine making sounds to see how they look. Imagine a kid's very own audio and graphics studio. That is Sound Fantasy, four different games that will unleash the creativity in kids of any age. Our old friend Kirby's teed up and ready to go in a sky-high putt-putt adventure. Kirby's Tee Shot. It's like golf, but with a twist. You pitch and putt Kirby around a variety of really cool courses that float above the sky of Dreamland. This game quickly becomes a real challenge. Each shot takes careful planning and just the right amount of English. First, there was Metroid on NES, then Metroid 2, the return of Samus, one of the most popular action games ever on Game Boy. Now, a 24-meg game, the largest ever on SNES, with all the glorious graphics and playing power of 16-bit, Super Metroid for SNES. 
Samus is back in a whole new adventure with all new characters. Join her if you dare as she explores the tunnels and high-tech hideouts of a forbidding alien world, fighting armies of slimy enemies along the way. And to help players traverse dangerous alien territories, Nintendo Power will be releasing the Super Metroid Player's Guide simultaneous with the game. No Super Metroid player can afford to be without the official player's guide. Griffey 0 for 2 tonight. And the first pitch from Banks is one going. There it goes! See you later! Upper deck! Griffey has tied the Major League record! When you're hot, you're hot. And one baseball player has been burning up the record books. Ken Griffey Jr. The pride of the Seattle Mariners is now the pride of Team Nintendo filling out the strongest Nintendo lineup ever. The ultimate baseball game. Ken Griffey Jr. presents Major League Baseball. This game has all the wonderful diversity of real life baseball. You play in accurate recreations of each of the 28 Major League stadiums, just like the majors. You can play a single game, a World Series, an all-star game, or an entire 162 game season. Superb play control makes it easy for the rookie to get started while rewarding the dedication of the serious player as you hone your skills through a long season of great gameplay. Ken Griffey Jr. presents Major League Baseball, sure to slide safely into the number one spot in baseball games and completing a truly sensational Nintendo lineup for the first half of the 1994 season. The big season's getting underway, so hold on to your hats as Nintendo unleashes a six-month marketing blitz designed to blow the competition right off the court. Spearheading the offensive, over $28 million in first-half television advertising will keep the fans glued to their sets. Beginning in January, the Super Mario All-Stars promotion and NHL Stanley Cup spots will continue to mesmerize Super NES fans, while the Tetris 2 commercial will be generating excitement in both the NES and Game Boy camps. Game Boy players will find Wario Land advertising saturating the airwaves in February and March, followed closely by a Zoda's Revenge and Mega Man 6 commercial highlighting the NES basic control deck at $49.95. Beginning in March and continuing into May, a home run ad blitz for Ken Griffey Jr. Presents Major League Baseball will have the fans lined up for opening day of the baseball season in early April. Stunt Race FX will roar into the stores in late March, supercharged by a high-octane advertising run continuing into May. We'll move into hyperspace with an out-of-this-world Super Metroid campaign in April and May. And in May and June, the fantastical fun of sound fantasy will bring sweet sounds to the airwaves. Capping off this awesome advertising attack, beginning in May and continuing into the summer, no fan will miss the triumphant return of Donkey Kong for the first time ever on Game Boy. But that's only the start. When the fans finally tear themselves away from their TVs, they'll find Nintendo's merchandising masters have once again packed the stores with stunning signage and incredible interactive displays. At retail, the name of the game is Strong Visual Presence. Our team will be hitting the road this spring for the event marketing extravaganza of the year, PowerFest 94, the Nintendo World Championships. This one is B.I.G., bigger than ever before, sampling over 500,000 players, reaching millions of fans across the country, attracting legions of new recruits, and generating great press right into November. Throughout the first half, we'll continue to team up in the promotional partnerships that have proven so successful in past seasons, offering Nintendo additional media exposure and millions of impressions. In January, we're once again taking the field with Kellogg in a 140 million package multi-brand promotion that will put Super NES and Game Boy software titles on Kellogg's products. And in February, we're going steady with Eminem Mars for a sweetheart of a promotion offering millions of kids Nintendo collector cards in boxes of fun-sized Three Musketeers candy bars. Then, beginning in April, we tag team with Kool-Aid for the return of the Wacky Warehouse and a special new twist to be announced later this year. 
throughout the season were putting on the pressure in the print medium as well. When Super Metroid charges into the stores in April, the Super Metroid Player's Guide will be right there beside it, driving for the big score with players everywhere. And of course, Nintendo Power will continue to deliver strong product support throughout the year. And finally, completing this winning strategy will be unleashing more dollars for retailer advertising than ever before, driving record-setting roto inches and exciting retailer promotions. Take an all-star lineup of superstar products and spread the word with aggressive advertising, magnificent merchandising, powerful promotions, exciting events, the proven punch of Nintendo Power Magazine, and strong retailer advertising support. And you've got a great first half to another winning season. Is it any wonder that the best play here? Wow. That's exciting and powerful stuff, isn't it? The best is yet to come. By that, I mean Project Reality. As we speak, full-scale development is taking place on the next generation of video entertainment systems. Let's take a sneak preview now. The success of Silicon Graphics has been built on one fundamental human trait. People's imaginations are fueled by visual images. What we actually see at sunset, what we dream at night, the pictures we paint in our mind when we read a good novel. All of these memorable scenes are composed of visual images. Throughout history, people have tried to record these images with pencils or paints or videotape. But only with the advent of the computer could we begin to create images with the same vividness, detail, and realism that they display in the real world or in the imagination. For the last 10 years, specialists have used silicon graphics computers to create incredible images, ultra-detailed models of cars, planes, and even molecules, virtual reality environments seen from the cockpit of a jet fighter or the front seat of an Olympic bobsled and fantastic creations on the silver screen, including Terminator 2 and the dinosaurs of Jurassic Park. But our partnership with Nintendo is one of the most exciting things we've ever done. Because of Project Reality, for the first time, we will give millions of video game players, not just the specialists, the chance to interact right inside these magnificent virtual worlds. When Silicon Graphics first considered a partnership in the video game field, we talked to the heads of all of the major companies because we didn't want to make a machine that was just a little bit better than everyone else's. It had to be dramatically better, visibly superior. And no one, including Mr. Nakayama at Sega, could match what Nintendo had to offer. After talking with Mr. Yamauchi in Japan, it was clear that the only partner who could make this project really work was Nintendo. And what players will get is truly amazing. Many times the power of any computing system far more realistic three-dimensional animation, stunning graphics all delivered at a retail price of less than $250. You may have heard Peter describe our system as being as powerful as five separate 486 personal computers working together. In fact, Peter's understating the case by a long shot. Project Reality is like putting the combined computing power of hundreds of PCs together. Simply stated, there will be no other video game system like it. Our progress on development is actually moving even faster than we expected. Project Reality will soon be a reality. And when we do come to market, we'll hit the shelves with breakthrough games that will prove the superiority of our system. Throughout the history of Silicon Graphics, there have always been doubters who said we'd never deliver the computing power we promised at the cost we projected. But we always did. And when consumers see that for less than $250, they can buy a ticket to worlds filled with visual images they've only dreamed before, a new industry standard will be set. And that standard will be available to no video game manufacturer except Nintendo. Have a great show, and believe me, there will be a lot of great shows ahead for Nintendo and Silicon Graphics. Just think of the opportunities that lie ahead. A new superior hardware platform at a suggested retail of $250.
Now, are you ready for some more good news? I think so. How would you like to be relaxing here aboard this great cruise ship? You can, you know. How? Simply by participating in the all-new 1994 Servicer Excellence Awards program. I realize you've already received the announcement, but I feel it's worthwhile to review the highlights. Let me take a moment to introduce a couple of my associates. Jennifer Pruner, Administration Supervisor, and Cassandra Brooks, National Accounts Coordinator, to fill you in on the details. Jennifer, tell us about this wonderful seven-day Caribbean cruise in the sun. As you may recall, Jim, the grand prize will be awarded to the national winner of the program in 1994. This is an all-expense-paid, seven-day Caribbean cruise for two. Should I bring my sunscreen? I don't think so. Well, why not? Because you can't compete in this program. Oh, well. In addition to this, the national winner will be invited to an awards banquet in their honor at Nintendo headquarters in Seattle in March 1995. That's great. But what about the rest of our outstanding authorized service centers? Well, Jim, the 1994 program goes far deeper than a national winner. In fact, based on feedback from last year's winning service centers, we have increased the awards to over 100. You mean that we'll be giving special recognition to over 100 of our authorized service centers? Yes, that's right. Over 100 service centers. As you know, the country is divided into four geographic regions. Each first place regional winner and runner-up will be awarded an all-expense paid four-day weekend for one to the Service or Excellence Awards Banquet in Seattle. The grand prize and regional winners will automatically become one-year members of Nintendo's Servicer Board of Directors. In addition, the top 10 ranked servicers in each of the four regions will receive a certificate of appreciation. A press release will also be forwarded to the media in the servicer's immediate business area. And that's not all. Special recognition will be given to those who show the most improved turnaround time in each region, had no customer complaints, had no poor service ratings, conduct the most outstanding Nintendo service promotion in each region. Well, let's see here. I've been counting on my fingers. That's one grand prize winner, four regional winners, four regional runners-up, 10 top-ranked servicers in each of the four regions. Let's see, that's 40, plus 58 awards for special recognition. That adds up to 108, not 100. OK, OK, let's not get technical here. Some people. At any rate, the 1994 program will continue to provide you with the opportunity to be recognized for your outstanding efforts in providing superior support for Nintendo customers. Won't you be a winner in 1994? Welcome back. The excitement doesn't stop here. Let me introduce you to Janet McNaughton, your Advertising and Promotions Coordinator. Hi, Janet. Hi, Jim. Would you take a few minutes and give us some information on all of the key elements of the 1994 program? Certainly. 1994 is sure to be an exciting and aggressive year. In addition to supporting each of your service locations with $1,000 in matching funds, several exciting marketing programs have been developed just for you. PowerSwap Instant System Repair, which addresses our consumers' need for convenient service is the advertising platform for 1994. In a recent independent study, 83% of all consumers surveyed responded favorably to the power swap concept, which allows consumers the option of trading their malfunctioning NES control deck, Super NES control deck, or Game Boy system for a remanufactured one. Nintendo Power Magazine has the power to promote power swap. Power swap will be advertised on the back cover of Nintendo Power Magazine four times over the next year. It also has about one million active readers to take advantage of special service coupon offers to drive customers into your service center. Three coupon values will debut in the March issue. The first coupon is one free service Mario magnet and two free PowerPoints, which can be used to purchase Nintendo merchandise through the Nintendo Super Power Club catalog. The second coupon is $1.50 off the purchase price of an official Nintendo cleaning kit. And finally, we offer 10% off of any Nintendo product repair or replacement component. We're serious about linking retail stores to your service centers. A new service brochure has been developed specifically for retail distribution. The Get It Repaired, Get It For Less coupon campaign from Nintendo Power Magazine is carried through to this new service brochure. 
As with previous brochures, a space is provided on the back panel for you to stamp your service center name, address, and phone number. If you elected to participate in the coupon promotion, be sure to order a supply of brochures for your Nintendo merchandising representative so that they can install them for you at retail. The 1994 Advertising and Promotions Manual update is a services marketing tool designed with your needs in mind. I would like to take a moment to point out some of the key highlights of this manual. The first chapter, called Marketing Basics, teaches you how to develop a marketing plan for your service business. Pages 2 through 5 summarize in-depth consumer research, which can be used to assist you in defining your target market. One important research fact I would like to highlight is found on page 4, Consumer Criteria for Selecting a Service Center. According to our market research results, knowledgeable and friendly employees is the most important factor consumers consider when they are deciding which service center to use. As author David Ashton states in his book, Growing Your Company Through Customer Service, more customers are lost by the lowest paid employee than will ever be gained by the highest, which brings us to the 10-10-10 formula. Now you're probably saying to yourself, what's the 10-10-10 formula? I've never heard of that. The 10-10-10 formula is a simple business truth. Even if you have the savviest marketing campaign and you spend $10,000 to promote your business and build your customer base, if you or your associates are rude or unknowledgeable about the product you service, you will lose that customer in as little as 10 seconds. Then it will probably take you about 10 years to get that same customer back. The trick to avoiding the 10-10-10 formula is to have a savvy marketing plan and ensure that you and your associates provide outstanding customer service. This will help you to retain customers for years to come. Back to the manual, create an ad, chapter two. Chapter two provides you with all types of copy and layout suggestions. Camera ready artwork, including the get instant repair ad, which appears in Nintendo Power and the service brochure, can be customized with your service center name, address, and phone number. Our new program logo can also be found there. Chapter three, servicer ideas, provides you with a laundry list of advertising and promotional ideas that have been implemented by different members of our service network. These terrific concepts demonstrate how you can creatively advertise to the Nintendo target market without spending a fortune. A new advertising and promotions claim form has been developed to make filing for your matching funds even easier than before. There are three samples at the end of the manual. As a friendly reminder, remember, all campaigns must be pre-approved in order to be eligible for matching funds. Simply fax or mail your sample ad to my attention for approval. At Nintendo, we believe in the power of advertising. During 1994, Nintendo will spend over $627,000 to promote the Nintendo Authorized Repair Center Network. If I can be of any assistance in helping you to develop a local marketing campaign for your service business, please contact me. I look forward to working with you soon. This is Powerful Service Marketing, Janet. Thanks for the update. You're welcome. Remember, if you need assistance with your promotional efforts, call Janet. This concludes the update for 1994. We hope you've noticed a high degree of energy and all the positive things happening in Nintendo and in your service center. We feel strongly that this year is going to be a banner year for both of our businesses. Now please, read the update package included with this video and let the new year get underway. As usual, if we can assist you in any way, call us. After all, you are our customer. The field service staff exists because of you.